Do you want to get a real strong core and build six pack abs? Then keep watching this video because today I will show you my favorite exercises with body weight only and the bars to build a strong core. So let's do this. Alright guys, so today we are at the east side of our country, at the beach side of the Netherlands. Uh, we are on a little vacation with our family, um, so we're having a good time here. But we also have to train of course, and that's why we found this little calisthenics park over here. And that is also of course the best part of calisthenics. You can just find a park and do your workouts anywhere at any time. So today I have my core workout and today I will show you my top favorite exercise to get a quick and uh, effective workout in. So today we will do six exercises and work our core in different uh, parts. So we focus on our upper abs, our lower abs, the side abs and also the lower back which is all key and essential in calisthenics and to get a strong core and build six pack abs. So we're gonna focus on different aspects of our core today. And we also start with uh, relatively hard exercises first with low reps and from there we build the reps up and get more volume in. Um, in this way we build a strong core but also get our hypertrophy rep range in so we build a six pack. And by the way this video is sponsored by MyProtein. This complete outfit is from MyProtein. But next to that they also offer really good quality supplements and nutrition for an affordable price. We've been using their products for about two to three years now for optimal performance. So make sure to check the link in the description and you can use our code KellyFam for 36% discount. So let's get started with the first exercise, which is already the hardest exercise with low reps, the Dragon Flex. All right, so the Dragon Flex is, in my opinion, the best exercise to get a strong core. Um, you basically target your complete core your abs and your lower back and also your, your obliques. So with this exercise, you're gonna lay down on a bench or on the floor, you grab a low bar and from there you bring your body up. Um, make sure to squeeze your hips forward, contract your glutes and abs, um, straight out your legs completely and from there lower down and try to make six repetitions. If you cannot do six repetitions, then you have to decrease the intensity of the exercise by doing, for example, a one leg dragonfly or a tucked dragonfly. But make sure to get at least six repetitions in for four sets. So now let's move on to the second exercise, which is also an incredible exercise to build your six pack and your core strength, the toes to bars. So the toes to bar specifically targets on the lower part of the abs, which is mostly the hardest part to get visible because we tend to carry most of our fat in the lower side of our belly. So this exercise is really good to target the lower part of your abs. So you basically need to find a bar, make sure that you're able to completely hang out um, and from there raise your feet towards the bar um, by not using any momentum. So don't swing. Keep your toes in front and from there bring your uh, toes to the bar and try to get at least six repetitions in. Um, if this is too hard, you can also do leg raises and bring your legs um, in a 90 degree angle with your hips. So try to do six repetitions of this exercise also for four sets. And then we're gonna move on to the third exercise, which is the circular leg raise. All right, so now we get to the third exercise and from now we're gonna increase the repetitions from six reps to eight to 10 repetitions. So with this exercise, the circular leg raise, we specifically target the obliques, which is the side part of your abs. With this exercise, we need a high bar again. You can basically use the same bar as with the toes to bar. From here, we're gonna start in a dead hang position again. And first we're gonna bring our feet to the left side and then do a leg raise as high as possible. Make a circle and bring your feet to the right side and come back down as controlled as possible. That's one repetition. From there, we're gonna do eight repetitions in total. 
When this variation is too hard with straight legs, you can also do this exercise with your knees tucked in and do tucked circular leg raises. But make sure to bring your knees as high as possible when you make the rotation. Also eight to 10 repetitions for four sets. And then we're gonna move on to the fourth exercise, which is the parallel bar knee raise. All right, with this exercise, we're gonna focus on the lower part of our abs again, but also our upper abs. Uh, with this exercise, we need parallel bars, and this makes the exercise a little easier, but also enables us to uh, create a better range of motion with the exercise. Therefore, we're gonna do more reps, 10 repetitions, but we're gonna bring our knees or legs as high as possible. Um, so we're already actually working towards an L-sit or maybe a V-sit. So we're gonna start in a dip position. Bring your shoulders down so you create space between your shoulders and head. Um, bring your feet forward so you can see your feet at any time during the exercise. And from there, we're gonna bring our legs as high as possible. Maybe hold for one second and then go down. Do this for 10 repetitions. And if this is too hard, you can also do the tucked variation. So bring your knees in all the way to your chest as controlled as possible and then go down. So by now your abs, especially your lower part of your abs, uh, should be completely fatigued right now uh, because we mainly focus on the lower abs and also the obliques. So now we're gonna focus on the lower back, which is also an essential part of your core. So the fifth exercise that we're gonna do are reverse leg raises. So in my opinion, this exercise, the reverse leg raise, is the best exercise to get a strong lower back. With this exercise, you need to find an elevation like a bench. So when starting this exercise, make sure that you bring your hips on the edge of the bench. That's really important. Um, and from there, grab the bench with your hands and bring your knees away from your body until you straighten out your legs completely. Um, one big mistake is that you arch your back too much. So don't bring your feet up in the air, but really try to lengthen your body instead of arching your body. This way we prevent injuries and target your lower back in the right way. So this exercise is pretty doable at any level. Um, so that's why we're doing multiple reps. So when you're doing 10 to 15 or maybe 20 repetitions, then you will really feel this exercise and uh, target your lower back. So try to do four sets of 15 to 20 repetitions. All right, and the last exercise is the butterfly pulse. This exercise is also a coordination exercise. This is such a funny exercise as well. Um, it targets your lower back again, but also your shoulder mobility. So we're gonna start on the floor and basically you're gonna bring one hand and one leg, the opposite leg on the floor and bring your elbows and knees towards each other while staying in the right position. Um, Try to do this for 10 repetitions on each side. And when this is too hard, you can also do a regression of the exercise by doing this exercise on your knees. Also focus on straighten out your legs instead of arching your legs. All right, so these were the six exercises to get a strong core and build your abs. And that is the exact workout which I'm about to do right now. So I hope you're gonna follow along with me. Try this workout. Um, I hope this was helpful. And yeah, that's it for this video. Um, if you need help with your training, bring your training to the next level. Uh, maybe learn some cool calisthenic skills like the handstand, muscle up, human flag, or just get stronger in general. Build a strong physique with bodyweight training. Then check out our programs and plans in the links down below. We also have some free training guides and workouts that you also can download down below. And don't forget, if you need any supplements or clothing, then check out my protein and use our code KellyFam for 36% discount on your order. So guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next week. Peace out.